Hello to Bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alpendril. In this video I'm in front of a Dell Optiplex 5070. You can see it there. This is the small form factor, so they are very small, very portable. The issue I'm having with this machine is that every time I turn it on, it shows me a message. So let me for a second switch my camera. I'm going to turn it on right there. And after a few seconds, it's going to show me this. This computer system, the serial number, is protected by a password authentication system. You cannot access the data on this computer without the correct password. Please type the system or admin password. And as you can imagine, I don't know, I don't have the password. So I'm going to show you that the computer is really on over there. So you cannot access Linux, Windows, any operating system or the BIOS to make any change. So as soon as you turn on the computer, this shows up. We cannot do anything with software, so we have to do something with hardware. I'm going to shut it down. I press the power button for a few seconds. Now let's go back to the motherboard or the, to the computer. I'm going to disconnect the power. You can leave everything else connected like I'm doing right here, or you can disconnect it. Doesn't make a difference. And now for this model, uh, it's not turning on. Uh, normally in the back it has a screw and you can see it over here so you can use your Phillips screwdriver or plain head screwdriver to remove it but in this case it was loose enough to do it with my fingers once you kind of remove it you have to push it to yourself like that and it's going to do it's going to make that noise now you remove it it's pretty simple let's put the cover on the side and now I'm going to show you around and this one is the fun for the processor, over here is the heatsink and the RAM. Uh, over here is the SSD, and you have a space for a one extra 2.5 inches uh, disk. This is the CMOS battery, and what we're looking for is for a jumper and pins. So we have our first candidate, but this is not really the one we're looking for because there are so many pins. And we go a little above, and this is the one we're looking for. We see six pins and the two in the middle have a jumper over there as you can see the blue one it can it may come in different colors i have done i have a playlist where i do kind of the same for different models so you can click on the top right of this screen to look for this the exact model that you may have so now what we need to do is to remove this uh, jumper over here so i'm showing you that i'm not wearing really any jewelry or watches and i'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that i might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds that way i don't damage the circuitry so i did that before the video now or using some pliers or your fingers which normally is enough we're going to remove the the jumper it's very simple just like that you don't have to use much force now uh, we're going to just remember uh, we have to put it back in the two pins in the middle, okay? That going to the, may be different on your model. We're going to connect back the power and we're going to wait for this to turn off. Now it's off. We press it once. It doesn't work. Let's press it one more time. Now it's working. Allow me a few seconds to so adjust my camera. Now this message is going to go by super quick, so it's a slowdown for you. The hardware jumper is removed to override the system password settings. System password has been erased and password cannot be changed. Please connect the hardware jumper to perform any password changes. So yes, we have done that. It's telling us that we already know that we did. And then it's going to continue to the operating system. In my case, it's Windows, as you can see here. So we have access to Windows one more time, but we are not done yet. I'm going to shut it down. Let's go back to the motherboard. We're going to disconnect the power one more time. And now we are going to press the power button. It's not working. That's great. And the, our final step is going to be to put it back. So very gently, you put it back in the two pins in the middle like that. You don't have to press it very hard. Now let's connect it back. And now we are going to put back the cover like that. So we secure it with the screw, as you see me doing over there. Now we're going to turn it on. We're going to go back to the to the monitor, the logo. I don't see any message now for password or anything. It's going to take some seconds and we're back on Linux or Windows. And that's how you reset the password for this Dell Optiplex 5070. Maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.